everybody, it's Jeff Antoniak. Welcome to Guided Listening This Week. So this week, we've got one of the super groups from the 1980s, the band Steps Ahead, featuring Mike Manieri on the vibes, Michael Brecker on the saxophone, Iliani Elias on piano, Peter Erskine on the drums, Eddie Gomez on bass. All of those people, with maybe one exception, had colossal careers with some of the biggest bands in the music. So, uh... If you don't know this tune, 1983, it's called Pools, written by the great Don Grolnick. So there's a lot of uh, lot of cool stuff here. This brings back a lot of memories for me early in my jazz listening process. So yeah, I'm excited to talk about this one. Before we do that, we have a draw coming up that I want you to enter for. So I'm going to say that so I don't forget to say it in a moment. We just wrapped up the Jazz Wire Winter Summit. It was fantastic. We had adult musicians attending on all instruments from across the United States, across Canada, across Europe, working together. It was a blast. So we do an online session uh, at least once a year, always every winter. So I'll be sure to let you know more about that coming up. And uh, we've got some cool workshops coming up this summer in both Canada and the United States. More of that to come. Here's the contest. So we haven't done this in a while. We're going to be giving away six months free subscription to Jazzwire. So that's Jazzwire is a $50 a month subscription. So that's a $300 uh, value. And so send in your name your instrument, and where you live. That's all we need. I just kind of want to know who you are. Your name, your instrument, what what city and country you live in. I don't need to know the exact address. And, um, and we are going to do the drawing on Valentine's Day, on February 14th. That's a couple weeks from now. So uh, send in uh, your information, and I hope you win. I'd love to work with you inside Jazzwire. So... Let's dig into this. This song, Pool. So it's got a really interesting form. It's got an interesting feel. It's got some built-in rhythms that the band and the comping are uh, working around. It's, there's just a, a really a lot going on with it. Um, yet the solo form, once we get into soloing, there's sort of two different solo sections, a one chord and a four chord that Michael Brecker solos over a bit to begin with. And then the solos are really over a minor chord and it's five, an altered dominant back to minor, in a couple different keys. So it, it's, it's a really um, sparse kind of tune, but there is so much going on in the arrangement, the production, the playing, the orchestration. Uh, so let's, let's just dig in and start talking uh, about this thing. Some, you know, just landmark stellar playing on this from the band Steps Ahead. The song is called Pools. Interesting. Bass melody. And that sound. Eddie Gomez can't mistake that sound. So it's not swing, it's not a boss, it's sort of a quasi reggae funk kind of thing. Second A section. I love this sound, acoustic bass and saxophone playing the melody. And so listen to the vibes and the piano comping together. We're going to hear them comping together individually. It's a great orchestration. And here's the next section, the bridge. So now the bass is playing the melody, but doing some foundation rolls as well. The vibes joins on that little bit of the melody. Now back to that first A section, which is 10 measures long, by the way. And it's interesting, it's going by one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I've seen the lead sheet that Don Grolnick has. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. But I can imagine it going one, two, three. I actually kind of counted that half time, but either way, it's the same thing. There's our pulse. It's 
so interesting. Listen back how all of the measures, the melody happens it's sort of like in the second half of the measure. That's sort of an interesting thing about the reggae feel. So now into the first solo. And it's a different tonality. These kind of major dominant chords. And a slightly different groove. Cool rim, rim click stuff from Peter Erskine. Listen to all the space. Just the bass and the comping, and it's basically drums and saxophone. And that hip, and Brecker shredding. More of that to come. So interesting, just a short little solo for Michael Brecker. And Eddie Gomez. Listen to his tone. I was surprised, I hadn't listened to this in a while. It sounds overdriven to me, uh, like the signal was coming in hot to the board or out of the amp. And I haven't listened to the rest of the album recently. I've listened to the album a million times. But whether that was a quirk, a mistake, did, they, did he want the sound like that? I don't know. It's cool. I, I don't mind it, but it's not typical. Such great melodies in his solo, man. And chops. So Eddie Gomez was one of the very important bass players with great Bill Evans, piano player, for years in his trio. So uh, Eddie Gomez doing some of the biggest, most important work in the world as a bass player. Lots of those da 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 Lots of triplet, eighth note triplets grouped into fours. Different groupings of triplets, very cool. And now listen to the comping. So listen to the bass and the piano behind the vibes. And. So that's been going on the whole song. And two, three, and two. So that little rhythmic signature, and, and, it's been going on. And listen to how they start embellishing around that. Not the solo, but the bass, the drums, the piano. Just even Eddie Gomez. Eddie Gomez likes to do lots of those great fills, lots of bends, part of his sound. So we can hear the piano. They're still doing the hits, but now they're adding more. You hear the energy building behind Mike Manieri? Yeah, like we're, woo! We're taking off, like how's that happening? Where's that coming from? That's, those are the questions to ask. Bass, drums. Piano comping, helping push Mike Manieri ahead. We still have those hits. One, two, two, two and two, two, and it's still in there. It's very hip. Definitely hints of backbeat. Three, four, three, four. And the drums, right? It's rock. No, no, rock adjacent for sure. Think about the composite rhythm. Da, 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 how everybody, the bass fills, Mike Manieri's eighth notes, everything Erskine's playing, comping from Iliani, how it just creates this machine of a groove, but not, not a tight, you know, tense machine. It's the, the flow of how the eighth notes are all connecting. Awesome. Chill 
pull it out. What comes next? And really letting the energy dissipate. Clearly something's coming next. Second saxophone solo. Gotta have two solos. And you still hear those hits? They're still there. One, two, two, and two, two, and. So there's a lot of motion and fills, but it's not cranking yet, is it? And Brecker doing this great combination of playing slowly and melodically, and then adding in awesome tensions and, unsur and surprising things. Still not a lot of velocity yet, but we know he's going there. Bluesy, pentatonic things that Brecker's always gonna do. Harmonics that Brecker's often gonna do. And you hear the band starting to build. It's like pulling back a slingshot. You know what's going, right? in the chords. It's wonderful. It's really just hanging out for a period of time on a minor chord, but how he moves from one minor tonality to another. I'm learning that one, whatever that was. I'm learning that. And how he moves from all kinds of crazy double time pattern stuff into a little melodic thing, back to double time here. A little melodic thing. Melodic. Into the double time. more melodic, rhythmic, singable thing. And again, the energy dissipated. Well, listen to how Peter Erskine downshifted from, you know, doing like basically stadium rock Back to that really light feel. Back to the melody. One, two, two, one, two. So that bass drum on beat three, um, sort of a typical uh, reggae kind of signature. interesting to go back and we definitely have two comping instruments. Vibraphone is playing with four mallets uh, and then piano, of course, comping. But Eddie Gomez, the way he plays, um, he does a lot of fills, like in a very real sense, Eddie Gomez is kind of comping too. So it's really cool to listen to how these um, like really master all of these folks, headliners pretty much, how they came together in this band and how they leave space. It's kind of cool to listen to some of the early parts of the solos and notice, is Mike Manieri playing with Iliani Elias on piano? Are they playing at the same time? Is one of them playing set rhythms? Is the other one comping? These are important questions. These are the kind of things we talk about inside Jazzwire and definitely my in-person classes in the DC area here. Um, how do we get a piano player and a guitar player comping together and maybe there's horn backgrounds or something how do we make room for each other well the pros do it all the time when Peter Erskine 
was in Weather Report and Zhao and all doing all the keyboards, yet Jocko playing all that bass. The percussion, like how was their sonic room for everybody? And huge egos, by the way, right? How, how does that work? It, those are great questions. Those are fun things to, uh, to listen to from uh, great musicians like this. By the way, the piano player, maybe that's a name you, you know, know less, Iliani Elias, I think I'm saying it right. I want to say she was 22, maybe 23 uh, during this recording. I think this was like her first, maybe it was her first big album. I think these were the first really big tours she did after coming from Brazil. So yeah, amazing to hear her in this, you know, fantastic group. So again, go back and listen to this thing without me talking. There is so much going on and so many cool things to listen to inside from the recording. All right. And uh, if you don't know the band Steps Ahead, uh, they were the, they were called Steps before that. They recorded three albums in Japan. Some really great uh Often very high energy stuff with uh, Steve Gadd on drums at the time, but some really beautiful ballad kind of things. So um, it, it, a great band, a great band from that time, late 70s, early 80s. And then they recorded a whole bunch of uh, albums under the name Steps Ahead. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. So please send me um, an email with your name, the instrument you play. We're going to accumulate all those emails. We're going to do a draw, and uh, we're going to draw on Valentine's Day. And then the Friday after that, we're going to make the announcement, and uh, it'll be very exciting. We've done this over the years, but it's been a good long time since, uh, since we've done a contest like this. And uh, I'm excited to get some of you folks into Jazzwire. So, of course, for the rest of you, um, jump into the free trial. It's free, right? There's nothing. <laughs> it's free. It's free. Put in your name, put in your email. You're, you're in and you get to observe what's happening inside Jazzwire for a month. So hope you take advantage of that. We will see you next time. Take care. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.